Okay, hello, hello, hello. Rhonda White here, lovelylooks.co.com. Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna get started in just a second and get those invites out. And today, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and recreate this neutral eye look with a little zing, okay? So, let's get started. Invite your friends, grab your lunch. It is lunchtime. Okay, here they go. There we are. And your invites are coming. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, and I've missed you, I'm sorry, we'll get back to you. So here we go. This right here, this awesome look with a little pop, still in the neutral category, and I'm gonna show you how to get it. And it is simple, you can really get ready in five minutes, okay? This is simple, quick, and easy to do. And I'm gonna show you what colors I used, because this is awesome, okay? And this goes by super quick. We're only using a couple of brushes, and you can do this too. So, as you know, we started out with, go ahead and use your eye primer, smooth that over your eyelid. If you want to conceal any of those little veins like I have, the purple and reds, go ahead and use Victorious or Bittersweet. Splurge Cream Shadow, smooth that over. Now, take out your applicator shader brush, which is one of my favorites, you see, I already used it to do this eye. We're going to use it with this color right here, ANSI. Okay, you see that color? There it is. Okay, so get some on that applicator side, just like that, and we're going to smooth it over from the front of your eye, lower lid, okay? That lower lid right above your eyelash line, right there, okay? Yay, finished. Flip that brush around. So I said, this is quick when you do it in this order. Take out this color, Timid, okay? See that, Timid. Use the brush side, get it on there. Now, remember, I like to put enough on so you can see it on camera. Okay, get it on there and follow me. You're gonna go right above that crease line, okay? and you're gonna go forward like you're going towards the brow, but not at the brow, okay? Right here, and just tap that on. Now remember, I like to put enough on so you can see it on camera, just like that. Now I may even put a little bit more on so you can see it, because I want you to see where I put it, okay? There it is. Now, next step, Next brush. This is the liner shader brush, and we're gonna be using that liner portion, and we're gonna be using it with this color right here. And I think this color doesn't get a lot of attention, so we're giving it attention today. This is called Fancy. It has that satin sheen to it, okay? So go ahead and get it on your brush like this, okay? Now we're gonna go lower lid, lower eye lash line right here. About three quarters of the way and stop and just a slight little under wing right there done bam told you this is quick okay now take your crease brush now this color right here also I think it doesn't get a lot of play it is ginger leaf but we're putting them together and you could do a lot when you put different colors together okay and this is a quick four okay ginger leaf right there and it, it does look gingerly, okay? So the color is true to its name. 
Reminds me of gingerbread cookie after it's been baked. Okay, got it on there. Same thing, go right into that crease, right into that crease. And right above that lash line, only that back quadrant, that small little area. We're not carrying it all the way forward, okay? Just right there, okay? Connect it to where we did that wing right there so they meet and then forward almost like a little pyramid back here okay i want to show you i'm gonna put enough on so you can see it what i mean by a pyramid it's a little triangle that we're doing back here see that that's the little triangle okay just like that bam done with that now all we have to do is soften it okay you have two choices you can use this fabulous fluffy crease brush that you got in your kit yeah or you could go ahead and use our applicator shader brush make sure that you wipe that off and clean your brush before you do this okay so what you would do is just go and soften and soften right here okay and same thing if you have this one use this soften it front first where there's less color and then work your way this way and into that crease and soften those colors together. Okay? Look at that. Bam, done. Okay? Now, for today's demo, we're using brown dip and draw, brown. Because we're staying in the neutral, but we're giving it a little bit of pop. Same great applicator, okay? Well balanced, easy to use. And we're gonna do the same thing And we're gonna wing it and go forward now do it to your liking I'm gonna go big and then small in the front and I'm not going all the way to the center of my eye that eye duct I'm just going almost there okay and make it small in the front and big in the middle you will do it to your liking and then wing it in the back now, if you're asking, how do you know? Aim towards that end of your brow, okay? Hey, Yolanda, that's what you do. Aim towards that back of that brow, okay? Now that you have that, it gives you enough time to do any touch-up that you want. So go ahead and touch up anything you want to touch up, right? Now that you had softened everything all together, if you're just catching this late, go back and watch the beginning. I'm going to take out our esteem lash serum that we got in our kit remember this is stuff that came in your kit so we're just adding things to it starting at the root and just apply it brush right through top down gentle enough to use twice a day love this stuff can't get enough of it okay just like that now did i tell you kudos this month's kudos is a super deal okay you're gonna pick any Take out your Epic Lash Mascara, either waterproof with the square lid or non-waterproof with the round, okay? Get it in black, brown, you choose. And I still have purple if you want purple. Okay, we're using the non-waterproof. Go to the base and just press them in so that, remember, Epic lengthens, curls, and adds volume. So we're just getting it curled right now by pressing it in. Okay, so kudos. Pick any four press shadows, and we have so many to choose from, including the new ones that are coming um, in the mail to me, which I have not received, so stay tuned for those. And you're going to pick any splash lipstick color that we have available, okay? Just like that. And... You're going to pick, oops, there it is, any mascara, okay? So that's your kit right there, 72 bucks. It's a 30% savings. You're saving $30. You're saving $30, yeah. That is awesome deal, okay? The only better deal you can get is in the kit for $99 because you're getting over $300 worth of stuff for $99. You can't get any better than that.
Okay, so now that we got this, and you can get all three lash products in that kit. Okay, look at that. There's, there's Epic. And if you want a little darker, just add a little more. Or a little thicker, add a little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to put enough on for the camera because I always like to make sure you can see it on camera. Okay, just like that. Go ahead and you can put, well, here's the fun thing. If you want a little more fun, a little more zing, use Purple Epic, okay? And put Purple Epic down here, just like that. Just a little bit, no. just for a little color. Oh, there's my little munchkin. Hi, baby, what's up? Mm. Say hi. Are you still eating? Mm. Okay, we're gonna do lipstick now. Don't touch. Okay, oh, that's not for you. Not for you. So we're gonna do lipstick. And remember, our kudos this month comes with your choice of lipstick and we are going with this one. Sympathetic, right here. It is a neutral. She's getting her own chair, by the way. Not that you can see her on, I'll, I'll have to pan over. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna make sure. I had a little gloss there. Take it off. Take out your splash lipstick. Scrape it really good because like I said, once again, it's like a frosting, okay? Hey, baby. Uh, uh-huh. Are you falling off? Okay. It's a medium nude color. Now, to get a little gloss, take your Lux that came in your kit already. You already have it, it's in your kit. Take your Lux gloss and just put a little bit on top. Okay, so Kevy wants to be on screen, so we're gonna show her, hey, don't touch stuff. You don't be touching stuff. Here's Kevy, she's getting into stuff. You say, say hi. <laughs> Cheese. She is such a big selfie girl. Yeah, she loves to take photos. So if you want to know what we did with the cheeks, I'm going to show you right now. We're going to continue. Take out your blusher brush. I'm going to use just that much of sophisticated, okay? And right to the cheek area. Now she's off doing something else. The crazy twos, right? Two-year-olds. Okay, go ahead and blush your cheeks. Now, to get that glow, I talked about it before. Bless your cheeks. You're going to take, let me go find it. Here it is. Okay, once you've blushed your cheeks, I'm going to wipe my blusher brush off just a little bit. Hey, what do you, hey, don't touch. Take out your a la mode, and I am using iridescent. I'm going to put just the tip front of that blusher brush in there and do the apples of my cheeks right here. Then, to get that glow just right, remember our Kissed Edition Beachfront, the Belize? Okay, you're gonna take a little bit of that, just a little bit, once again, and do the back side of that upper cheekbone, right there, okay? To connect both of those and give you that healthy glow that is just so radiant and looks beautiful. Remember this? Remember this. This was our highlighter stick from Black Friday. Okay, if you didn't get one, let me know because I have it. Take this out, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect where you put this and your blush right in between those two. So almost like an imaginary line there. Just like that. That's all you do. That's it. Take your powder puff brush clean, okay? Make sure there's nothing on it. And we're just going to Smooth that out just a little bit because you don't want to see a line, okay? And we want those to soften just like that. She's up here trying to get to stuff. You see this? What are you doing, Kevy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you say hi? Hey, cheese. <laughs> There she is, once again, the big ham she is. Okay, so 
that is it for today. I will get those photos up so you can see this up close in person. And thank you for joining me. And we will talk again tomorrow with a different created look. Now, if you have requests and you go, Rhonda, I want to see um, something with pink, something with orange, something with yellow, green. Pick a color and I'll put something together and we'll do the tutorial together. Okay, until tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.